I've got a few seeds to plant. This is just, you know, well, probably a hundred packets of seeds in here that I intend to get planted. Now, don't even think about starting tomatoes and peppers and marigolds. It is way, way too early. But there are things that need to be started fairly early so that they can actually be big enough to plant in the spring. And among those things, first pansies and petunias, if you do those from seed, um, they take a long time to develop. So you might wanna go ahead and plant those. So we're gonna do some seed starting. Ordinarily, I use plastic six packs or four packs to start seeds, but you know, getting one in each cell or two in each cell is really tedious. And so last year I went to something a little different. I still did that, but with some plants, I did this. These are just short little pans. You fill them with potting soil, there's no cells. And for seeds that are really tiny, I mean microscopic, it's easier to just scatter them on the soil surface. Now, for the convenience of some gardeners, some seeds are pelleted, meaning that they're so teensy-weensy that they've coated them and made them into a pellet so you can actually see them. So these are a foxglove called Dalmatian mix. There's this vial and it's got 10 seeds in it. Plop them in here into this pan. Try to space them fairly evenly and then keep them moist. So I'm just gonna press them in and we'll water these from the bottom and uh, cross fingers. It's important to use a potting mix that's really conducive to seed starting. There are seed starting mixtures. Frankly, I'm not crazy about them. Uh, so far, this is what I like the best. So next, we're gonna do some artichokes, and these I can see pretty easy, so I know exactly how to space them. We're gonna do it just like we did before. So the reason I'm using these pans is that once these seeds do germinate, the little plants here, I can pop the whole tray out, just turn it upside down, separate the plants, and put them into larger pots to continue growing them on. Planting seeds on a cold day really is great therapy. You're hoping for spring. Now, I know those of you who saw this segment, I do not want any of you going around saying, Rob says it's fine to plant tomatoes and peppers. I expressly did not say that. It is not okay. Go with the artichokes, the foxgloves, the dianthus. No tomatoes.